you can improve a person's affection for you by asking them to perform a favor for you. If you want the other person to have the same kind of reaction when you meet them, you should show that you are excited about the interaction. You will notice that you want to do more now that you have overcome procrastination worry. When you feel like putting off a chore, convince yourself that you'll do it in 5 minutes, you will find that you want to put in more effort. We have a tendency to dismiss the people who admire us and focus more of our attention on the people who neglect us. If you expect other people to treat you in the same way that you treat them, you are setting yourself up for a world of hurt because not everyone has the same kind of heart that you do. When you are truly connected to another person, you may start to imagine hearing their voice in your thoughts while you read their messages. When you speak to someone's right ear and touch their forearm at the same time, they are 50% more likely to agree with what you have to say. Those who use more curse words on a daily basis have low self-esteem and are honest to a certain extent. Sending someone you care about a text message, wishing them a nice day and night activates the part of the brain that is responsible for happiness. Finding a person who understands all of your faults, failures, and weaknesses yet still believes you are utterly amazing, despite those things is the best thing that can happen in life. The more effort you put into something, the more of a sense of accomplishment you will have when you succeed. Once you have come to terms with your flaws, from a psychological standpoint, no one will ever be able to use them as an argument against you again, this is due to the fact that you have a greater degree of control over it. The best way to show someone how much they mean to you is to try to picture your life without them. Being honest when you're wrong and keeping quiet when you're right is a simple strategy that can significantly improve the quality of your interactions with other people. You can use the fact that your mind wanders to think about the things you love or desire to figure out, where your heart is located by using the fact that your mind is odd. Never let anyone else know what your goals are because doing so chemically satisfies the brain in a way that is equivalent to really achieving them. In the wee hours of the morning or the wee hours of the night, individuals tend to be at their most open, awkward, real, or personal. If you remain looking into someone's eyes when you're trying to persuade them to talk more, you'll find that they'll reveal considerably more information than you were expecting them to reveal. The more faithful you are, the more disappointment you will experience, and the more you will have to put up with. You should try to travel as much as possible, for as long as you can, staying put in life is not how it was designed to be lived. The third person effect describes our tendency to believe that other individuals are more susceptible to persuasion than we are. If you feel as though someone is gazing at you, check your watch or look at the clock as though you are checking the time. If the person you believe to be staring at you starts checking the time as well, this is evidence that they were staring at you. Women tend to take a more emotional stance when approaching a problem, whilst males tend to take a more pragmatic approach. If you get a strong impression that something is going on, it's probably because you're right, your gut instincts are usually reliable and accurate. 
According to research, people are more likely to believe false news, since it is simpler for them to do so than to critically evaluate and analyze everything else they have heard. Imitation is the key to successful learning, which is why social learning is considered to be one of the oldest forms of learning behavior. A recent study came to the conclusion that spending money on others brings about more happiness than spending money on oneself. Someone who appears possessive or possessive of others is someone who cares the most. People who are intelligent tend to underestimate themselves, whereas those who are uneducated tend to think highly of themselves. Because their bodies produce their own natural stress hormone, certain people have a natural alarm clock that enables them to wake up whenever they choose. Four lies are said by the typical individual every single day, which adds up to 1,460 every year, and 87,600 by the time a person reaches the age of 60. We desire more alternatives, yet we can make better decisions when there are fewer of them. Simply put our brains are unable to absorb too many choices. It is a waste of time to worry, because both good and bad things will happen in life. The important thing is to keep living, and not to stress over things that are beyond your control. Many many thanks you watching my video, and don't forget to subscribe.